do you know that the... Hello everyone, it's Raiden and Remington and we're here with a new series for you guys Pokemon Conquest Now this is one of my all-time favorite spin-offs It's a game Remington has never played and we're really excited to be bringing it to you guys So let's just hop right into it Yep, uh, I've never played it, but I have seen it played through well, part of one um, through Maryland so Yep yeah. We're just going to uh, hop I right into it. Do uh, not have any, like, post-game experience on it, though, so. Oh, you're going to love the post-game. Alright, so, we are a boy. And yep. what should we call ourselves? Uh, we only have seven letters, really? Wow. Interesting. Um... Uh, Uh, how about just L M M G? Is it us L M Jesus? Because your name is shorter, we'll do it as L M G Ren. Okay. Because I've already played as Raiden for so many different games. All right, so I guess I'm the protagonist. Rems. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. Oh, come on, we just watched the trailer. Wait, uh, we have to watch it again? I guess so. I forgot about this. This was the part oh, well. I forgot. So we get to see our main villain, Nobunaga, and his Zekrom. We get to see a few Pokemon. This game has a cast of 200 playable Pokemon. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go over the basics now. 200 playable Pokemon. The evolution mechanic is, is slightly different now, but you still grow stronger and evolve. That's nice. Um, and battles are more like that of Fire Emblem. Or, um... Final Fantasy, I guess. Uh, that's the other one I was thinking of. And, uh, so it's a tactical RPG, and, uh, it's so much fun. We are now at the Kingdom of Aurora. And that's gonna be our main pain in the butt. I mean, friend. No, yeah, this game is is actually a lot like you would you would like see Pokemon battles on the anime. There's yeah. it's very like there's 3D mm -hmm. parts instead of just yep. the classic 2D click the button. Yep. As you see in normal Pokemon games. All right. So another mechanic is the invasion of kingdoms, which they're going to explain right now. So we'll explain more about the game during some downtimes. But this game has such good soundtrack. I love it. As you can see, Raiden's a fan of soundtracks now. I know this is sacrilegious to Raiden, but most of the time when I play games, I play them with the volume off. So he's the soundtrack, I guess. Yeah, expert, this is, this is why I'm the one who's making the top 50 soundtracks yeah. and not Remington. Yep, because I Which will probably be coming out mid-June. So yeah. 
In each battle, you can have up to six Warlords and their Pokemon. And uh, there's a lot of things, but they don't add it all at once. So, they're going to move first because they're the attacking kingdom. And that's okay. So that's just a simple mechanic. So this is what's called range. And uh, those squares show where Eevee or whatever Pokemon you're using can move to. And of course they want me to move to that spot even though I know, having played this game for an for a number of hours, I am not willing to admit right now that is not the best place. No, yeah, this game is very, very interesting because you have to take into account their yep. range. And also, the range does take into account, I wouldn't say it's a direct correlation to speed. Like, for example, Wig or Jigglypuff's not known for speed, but its range isn't half bad. Yeah, so Charizard has crap range, and if... And I will immediately deport a Charizard once we get it. If we get it. So, yeah, basically, the the huge Pokemon, you know, like, for example, like Rhyperior or something, they will have a range of, like, Crap. three squares. Yeah, like something really crappy. So then once you fight, so, and you can only attack in one of the four cardinal directions, and you only get one attack. Also, um, it, if... If you uh, get behind a Pokemon, it, it does more damage, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So if you can, you want to get behind them to in yep. uh, induce more damage. Yep, and that's how you win the battle. So, so Link, which is a mechanic in here, is how your Pokemon grows stronger. So It's basically experience. <laughs> it's basically experience, and... Uh, as you get higher in Link, your moves become more powerful, your stats increase, uh, you, and certain Pokemon, you have to have a certain Link to evolve others, it's dependent on one of the, one of the other four stats. Okay, so, da da da, you kind of have to let her join, even though she is amazing as a supporter. Yeah, she's very, very good. Her, well, I guess we'll get to yeah. it when we get to it. But yeah, so, so these are yes. various kingdoms of Aurora. On the left, in this shot, you'll see uh, Terra, the ground type kingdom. On the right, you'll see Nyxstorm, the ice kingdom. Um, and like I said, this music is so good. Don't you like it already, Remington? I can't hear it, but you know what? I'm gonna take your word for it. <laughs> Here. Maybe if I adjust the mic. Yeah, so... Okay, so... That's the nice thing about this game, is you can save at various points. Start. I would hope so, otherwise you'd have a very, very long... Time well, you can also save try. in the middle of a battle, which is so helpful. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, especially on a long car drive, which is when I originally played this game. Okay. And then back. Oh, speaking of long... I am so excited for Sun and Moon. Oh my god. I'm really yeah. glad they didn't remake Reg Regions, because, like, whenever they do a new, like, new generation of just, like, a new region... It makes me, like, be nostalgic and go back to the time when I didn't know mm -hmm. anything about Pokemon. And I just love exploring, like, the new regions. Yeah. But if they do remakes, like, it's just, like, no point. I know what everything... Uh, basically, 90% of what's going to happen is going to... I already know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, we're going to enter Aurora. And, uh... And... Okay, so we're just gonna go to the farm. So 
So I think in this episode, we're basically just gonna do kind of the, the more boring stuff. The tutorial stuff, yeah. basically. So, as a warlord, which is what you are, you you control your army. And you can move them wherever you want. I'm going to move the Jigster to right there. And I'm going to wait. And then I'll move Eevee right there. And what? And uh, just as a note, there may be abilities like in the game, but they're not the abilities that you're thinking of. Oh yeah. So Eevee has a different one called Celebrate, which hopefully I can get it to activate this battle. I think you. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Critical hit. Maybe. Come on. Crit. Well, sometimes it hits for a little more. Yeah, max damage. Nope. Hit exactly what it told. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. You can get it to activate as long as Jigglypuff don't kill. Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'll get to show you Celebrate. Yeah. That's good. Oh man, you can't even tell where it is. <laughs> there it so, is. Okay. We're gonna kill that. So, what we're gonna do is we're now going to come beat the crowd out of this Starly. So yeah, as you can see, basically Celebrate allows you, once you've killed a Pokemon, to move again. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. And other abilities will be okay, <coughs> others will be very yeah. bad. Uh, Jigglypuff. Lullaby is actually pretty good. Uh, if a Pokemon is within a certain range, you can uh, put them to sleep. And uh, later in the game, once you get to, uh, to the Steel-type kingdom, there's a special pond there where you can uh, change the ability of your Pokemon for a certain amount of gold. So basically, an ability capsule. Oh yeah. Yeah, so every month, in-game month. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. Explain that. You have to wait. Oh dear, Hideyoshi. <laughs> He's funny. I really like him. He's great in this game. Except he's not gonna attack us, you woozer. We're gonna enter. Oh, there's. Okay. So normally that won't happen. But yeah. So this brings us to the interesting part about how you obtain more Pokemon. No, not yet. We don't get to linking until much oh, really? later. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. Well, this is a spot where you would link. Or where you could link, I should say. Yeah. Also, and we also do... Oh. Oh, we can do warrior skills. Okay, so warrior skills are the interesting mechanic of this. So... So, like, <coughs> our personal warrior skill is top speed, which increases our range for the turn. I'm not going to use it right now, because I don't think I'd be able to get to that Meowth anyways. Oh no! One damage! Also, interesting kind of mechanic. Like, you, you see water, or like, perhaps like a, a floating part. Of and there's Lullaby a... activating. Yeah, there you go. And you see like different environments and for example that water one i believe only mm -hmm. water and maybe flying i don't know I forget. water flying and pokemon with the ability levitate yeah or pokemon with certain abilities like uh omnipotent can do it yeah okay. so theoretically um what's it called 
we're not going to spoil that part. So, that gold box is, uh, is nice because, uh, it means you get some goodies from it. And, uh, yeah, that's really nice. Oh, darn it. Yeah, um, unfortunately, sometimes they, uh, what's it called? The opposing, you know, army can pick it up, even though it's, in, it's yep. a computer. It'll still pick it up for no reason. I don't know. Uh, I think it, it likes to do that. Yeah. The AI in this game is actually really, is actually pretty good. Okay. So, so yeah, we got basically a pearl or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we basically got something to sell, which is nice and dandy. Oh boy, not these three. So these three are kind of bung the bungling idiots who actually give you decent advice. If that makes any sense. All right. This game is pretty interesting because it's like one of the few games where yep. you actually like use, like you see the Japanese heritage in it. Yeah, this game is very much inspired by uh, the feudal Japan, but uh, I think, I don't think we want to challenge Ignis in this episode. I think we're yeah, going to save that for the next episode. So if you guys liked this video and want to see more like it, click, click over there to subscribe and uh, a link to the playlist will be on here as well. Um, if you let us know if you like this video and want to continue to see the series, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I will say that a pretty long one. I well. will say that this episode will probably be the most boring episode of the whole series, just because. Which is pretty, you know, normal for any yeah. like walkthrough, playthrough, whatever. Yep, but uh, especially for you, experienced players. <laughs> yep. All right. I think we're gonna let you guys go. See you guys next time. See you next time.